Okay, so here's the latest addition in the Visnova family of avatars, and her name is Honey, and this is her in her default raw state. Um, and as you can see, she's looking very hot. So if we come down here and we just have a look from the top, if you have a look at her head, which is gorgeous, and the eyes, um, they've been made by Scarling, and the head will work fully with expressions. So if we just click on one over here, you can see it works beautifully with expressions. The skin has been made by Enyo and it's beautifully, a beautifully natural looking skin tone, it's gorgeous. And also the outfit has been made by Suki, Sukatita, and it's very detailed, it's gorgeous as well. Um, you'll, you can see here that she's actually got lush hands as well, um, which all the poses have been made to suit lush hands. And she's also got dainty feet, so all in all she's a great looking avatar as default. Okay, so let's check out her standing defaults now. So here she is in her standing defaults, as you can see, um, her arm just falling down there sort of naturally. Uh, I've designed these sort of new type blending defaults. Um, I call them raw dynamic defaults because they're sort of like a bit of a raw animation, but um, they give a new flavor to the avatar. So she will randomly go through these um, defaults and then she will randomly choose one and she will stay on there for approximately a minute to a minute and a half. Um, you can see here arms um, just about to come up so it's a new flavor they look very good um, and let's have a look at the sitting ones so here I'm just using the default iron view couch um, for demonstration purposes Let me just put that back into the avatar um, and we'll sit in here and you can see here she's um, uh, in a nice little sitting pose uh, she also has the uh, dynamic breathing um, to give her more of a realistic look um, and also the defaults, I have made the new type of blending on these as well. So she will um, she'll cycle through these defaults and then she'll randomly choose one and stay on one for a, around a minute to a minute and a half and then recycle through the defaults through the animation. So they look really good. It's something new um, that I've been experimenting with but it looks, it looks good. Gives the avatar a different sort of feel um, and definitely will be catching people's eye when you're in the room using her. Um, you can see there. Um, so that's the defaults. Let's have a look at the poses. So I have made her poses using lush hands. So if you want to get the best out of the out of the way that the poses look, it's, it's advised to use lush hands. She comes with lush hands as default, but there are plenty on the catalog. Um, if we just activate one here, you can see just how close the hands are to the body so obviously if you're wearing different hands it's not going to look as good as that um, let's cycle through we have another one that's actually a wall pose we'll go through to another pose i've got another wall one here cycle through and you can see here here's one as well that you know obviously the hands are very close to the hips so it is advised to use lush hands um, you obviously can use other hands um, but they, you won't get the same um, perfect effect as you will with lush hands. So let's have a look at the expressions. So it's important to understand how expressions work. They need to be triggered one at a time and not over each other. So in other words, you need to wait until each expression finishes. So for example, if I click on here, you can see she's got an expression here and one here. But notice now I'm activating them on top of each other so the expression is going extreme you can see here I'll just keep going just to give you a uh, exaggerated example but you can see now if you watch keep an eye on her face you'll see the expressions finishing there's another one there's another one and there's another one so it is important that you understand that make sure that you um, cycle through the expressions once they finish so there are a couple of ways you can activate the expressions one is with the pose as you saw there which it will last a few seconds the other way is to, for example, here, um, if we click on this, that will activate an expression for a few seconds. So what you can do is you can cycle through all those. Um, they are a letter, which is for the pose. For example, this one is E, and then two digits. This is E8 pose. So this has got E88 for a fast expression. And if you want, if you find the expression and then you want to hold it for longer, you would click on the triple digit number here so for example if we click on this this will last for around a minute so just remember that don't mix the expressions unless you wanted some exaggerated effect enjoy honey